Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This time we're having a PU tier match against D from Discord. If you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Discord. Links as always are in the description below, as well as all my Pokemon sets. If you guys get curious, are down there as well. So, we're using the same team as the last two videos. I kind of want to give, uh, like, teams that I build, like, three videos to shine, just to show you guys what the team does. Um, but anyway, looking at D's team, he has the Magmortar, Polyrath, Electivire, Alolan Exeggutor, the Ditto, and the Hitmonchan. So we all we all pretty much know how scary Hitmonchan is down in this tier. So that was honestly the one mon I was afraid of. So this was a decent battle, guys. I hope you'll enjoy. Alright, so the battle begins. I'm going to lead off with Spoiled Bacon here, which is my Grumpig, my opponent is going to lead off with the Magmortar, so this is honestly perfect for me because I do have the Thick Fat ability and honestly Magmortar is uh, not going to be doing too much to me. Um, so for whatever reason, I guess my opponent didn't know about Thick Fat, but uh, he stays in here, he goes for the Fire Blast. I just go for the Thunder Wave, which is kind of risky because he could have easily swapped into his Electivire and absorbed that and uh, gotten a speed boost, so kind of glad he didn't do that, but now this Magmortar is crippled. And uh, honestly, I'm really surprised my opponent didn't swap out here um, after seeing how little he did with Fire Blast, but he's just going to go for it again? <laughs> I, I don't know. Magmortar really didn't have anything else. I'm, I guess he could have gone for a Thunderbolt, but honestly, that's not going to do much either. Um, yeah, I really don't know why my opponent didn't switch earlier, but uh, he is going to go ahead and swap into the Electivire now. And uh, Electivire is going to take a nice Psychic here <laughs> on the swap in. Um, I love Shiny Electivire. I love how its eyes are blue and it, the tips of its tail. <laughs> I, I wanted to say dick so bad. <laughs> um, but anyway, the tips of its quote unquote tail or tails are blue. I like that. Um, so I'm going to swap out here. Bring out my boy Donald here. And uh, he's going to go for the Wild Charge, obviously being a ground type. That doesn't affect me whatsoever, and uh, he's going to get the hell out of here, so I predicted that. I went for the Stealth Rocks on the swap. My opponent is going to bring out the Polyrath now, as I get up my rocks. And um, so here, obviously, I'm kind of fearing the Scald, so I kind of want to get out of here. Um, even the fighting move would probably hurt, but the Scald would probably do a little bit more. Plus, I don't want to get burned, so my opponent makes a good play here, setting up on the swap. He goes for a sub, and... Uh, it sucks, but it's honestly not that big of a deal as I bring in Spoiled Bacon once again. My boy Grumpig actually doing some work in this battle. Let's go. Um, so he's going to go for the Belly Drum here. And uh, that is a little scary for me, honestly. Um, I was really hoping he didn't have like that Speed Berry or whatever. I think it's Salic Berry. I might be wrong. But uh, he doesn't, and uh, that's totally okay with me. Um, so I'm just going to go for the Psychic here just to break its sub. And uh, honestly, nothing on my team wants to eat it, like anything at plus six from this thing. Um, so unfortunately, my boy Grumpig here is going to have to take a plus six stab waterfall. And uh, unfortunately, Grumpig is going to go down here. But that's fine because now I can bring in something that outspeeds this thing. Um, obviously, Polyrath is slow as balls. So I'm going to bring out Lilligant here. I, I definitely outspeed him by miles. And uh, I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain here that is going to kill off the Polyrath. So I don't have to worry about getting swept today, thankfully. And uh, my opponent here is going to bring out the Magmortar once again. And um, here I kind of felt that the Shattered Psyche, even though I don't have any Quiver Dances up, I kind of felt like it would kill. I actually calced it. There was a chance for it to kill. But of course, me being Chad, I have the worst luck in the world. He's actually going to live this on just a sliver of HP, so I was really, really bummed about this. Unf I swear, Lilligant always goes down to Magmortar for some reason. Every time I think that Shattered Psyche is gonna kill, it doesn't. <laughs> um, I think I actually killed one Magmortar with Shattered Psyche my entire time using this team. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, like I said, he's gonna live. He's gonna Fire Blast me, and uh, yeah, no more Lilligant. <laughs> so that really sucks because Lilligant is one of the team sweepers. And to have that thing gone, I'm definitely a little bit behind this battle. Um, as my opponent's only lost one mon, I've lost two. So here I'm going to <laughs> even out the score here with my boy Le Pew and uh, go for the Poison Jab that is going to kill off the Magmortar. Now my opponent is going to bring out the Electivire. 
And uh, I was pretty confident that after Stealth Rock's damage and from the range of HP that he's at, I was pretty sure a Stab Sucker Punch was going to kill him. So that is exactly what happens here. So Lei Pew claiming two lives so far. And uh, man, can I just say I how much I love Skun Tank. Like I, this is one of the mons that I had never used previously. And he has really, he's really grown on me. So here, he, my opponent's gonna bring on hit or bring out Hitmonchan, and he goes for a Drain Punch. We actually see that he outspeeds me, which is perfect because I'm going to be able to get a Poison Jab off, and that does a shit ton of damage. And he's not gonna heal it off from the Drain Punch. And here, I just go for the Sucker Punch. I knew it wouldn't kill, but um, I wanted to get him really low. And the reason for that is because now that my HP is so low, this Drain Punch is not gonna give him much health back. And plus, Le Pew, when it dies to a physical contact move, it actually activates Aftermath, which is going to cut his HP by 25%. So it's essentially like Hitmonchan's Drain Punch literally did nothing. <laughs> so here, I'm going to bring out Kmart Moltres, and uh, I just go for the Revelation Dance. I didn't want to risk uh, missing a Hurricane there. There was really no point in that. So that is going to kill off the Hitmonchan. <clears throat> I think my opponent has like two more mons left. Yeah, the Executor and the ditto if I'm not mistaken. So Executor is going to come in here. He's going to frisk the leftovers. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but here I'm just going to go for the hurricane and surprisingly it actually kills. Um, Executor actually has decent bulk to it honestly. It has, well, okay I say that. It has decent HP. It doesn't really have the greatest defensive or special defensive stats. But you know, I was a little bit surprised that killed. Plus I don't have any call mines up. So now my opponent's last mon is this ditto, and I was actually really afraid of this ditto until I remembered that most dittos are choice scarfed, so he's unable to set up with Calm Mind. So he's going to have to lock himself into Hurricane, and unfortunately my opponent misses his first Hurricane, and uh, he's, gonna, he's actually going to land the second Hurricane as I landed my Hurricane, and now I don't have to risk going for the other Hurricane, I can just go ahead and Revelation Dance and uh, kill off his ditto Oricorio. So that is game, good game D. I guess you guys could say I gave D the D.